G'day reefers, welcome to Gallery Aquatica TV. I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Today's fish feature is on one of the most unusual, hard to see, beautiful and rare fish that we have ever had at Gallery Aquatica, the weedy scorpion fish. Let's talk about the ecology of the Rhinopius frondosa. They are a, as you can see, a bottom dweller. They sit on the bottom on the substrate and they kind of just waft in the uh, current of the, of the ocean. And the reason for that is they are a camouflage ambush predator. So these guys like to eat fish and other uh, small creatures of the reef. So prawns and things like that and they sit in wait for these creatures. They will move around a little bit and they almost walk using their pectoral fins. They kind of jump around just slowly and you can see that they're actually looking uh, at me as well as at these little clownfish next to us because they are always on the hunt for food. Now that brings us to a very important aspect of the uh, rhinopius weedy, sea, uh, weedy scorpion fish and that's their diet. Let's talk about the food that you feed these fish. It's definitely one of the most important aspects of keeping these guys. You have to make sure that they're feeding well and they can be difficult to get onto a prepared or frozen food. And probably the best thing to try and get them onto are frozen foods like lancefish. Now, we've been feeding these guys here lancefish and they don't take it particularly well. It does take us a little bit of jiggling the fish in front of their face for them to eat it and uh, we have been supplementing their diet with some live feeder shrimp, but we're hoping to move them off that and entirely onto the land's fish, and we're slowly but surely getting there. Um, let's talk about the compatibility of these guys, because the fish that you keep them with is one of the most uh, interesting aspects of keeping the, the weedy scorpion fish. So I'm just looking around the store quickly and there's not a lot of fish that I would recommend keeping uh, with these rhinopias. And the main reason is that the vast majority of fish we sell, small reef fish, are going to be eaten by these guys. Um, you can see that they're very keen on the idea of eating these clownfish in the tank next door and they will eat quite large fish. So you have to be very careful what you put them with. Effectively, the, th the sort of fish that I would be keeping with these guys would be fish which are also uh, non-aggressive predators. And so fish like uh, other scorpionates, so uh, lionfish, um, other little scorpion fish would do well. I would kind of want to have fish that swim up high in the tank with them um, so that you've got a more balanced uh, tank. Although really there's, there's not a lot that you're going to be able to keep successfully. You also want to ensure that you don't have uh, a fish in here which is going to try and pick at the scorpion fish. I probably wouldn't put fish uh, like uh, trigger fish and a lot of the predatory type uh, fish um, in with these guys. They are somewhat delicate. Um, probably the best way to keep them would be in a tank that was dedicated to them. Um, you can certainly keep them with corals. They're not going to um, eat or destroy any corals. Um, they, they will sit on certain things, so you might need to avoid substrate dwelling corals, but um, probably the best way to keep them would be in a, a relatively small tank with uh, corals and, and very few other fish. So this brings us to our difficulty rating. Now we have a difficulty scale that starts as one is the easiest and 10 is the most difficult. Now these guys are a three. Now the only reason they're not a one is because they are not particularly easy to get feeding. Now these guys have been eating the frozen lands fish, which is great. So really these are a particularly easy pair of fish. Um, there's not much you need to do otherwise. They're tolerant of a wide range of conditions. The only uh, sort of stipulation is you don't want to keep them with other fish. There's a lot of fish that just are not going to work with the uh, weedy scorpion fish. So that's our video on the weedy scorpion fish, Rhinopius frondosa. Um, hopefully you've learned a little something and this video has helped you to decide whether or not they are the right fish for you. The biggest thing about them though is that they are a rare fish. They're not something we get very often, but they are definitely an unusual and beautiful and interesting addition to your aquarium. So that's it for me. I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Happy reefing. That's it for this week's episode of Gallery Aquatica TV. 
don't forget to like and comment on all our videos and subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned to Gallery Product TV for more exciting episodes to come. I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Happy reefing! <laughs>